Good day and welcome back to my channel. This is build, eight, build update number two on the Soviet T-35 super heavy tank land battleship um, beastly type of thing. I, I know that I have uh, not had much of an update recently. I've been more than a little bit busy and hadn't had a lot of shop time and then I sort of hit a snag um, but we'll get to that as we as we sort of step through. I've gotten a little bit you, as you can see, I've gotten a little bit more done on the, the top deck and the bottom hull. And to kind of walk through what's been done and what hasn't. So when I left, we were looking at this, this stuff for the top. Um, I skipped these things I've circled in yellow. Uh, again, for future planning type purposes, right? So... The way I the way I look at it is when I go to put this thing together and paint it, um, a I'm worried about breaking things off and also conveniently painting the pieces that need to be painted. So these the tool pieces, the the extra track pieces that get laid on the top, um, these little hooks that will go on top of the turrets. Um, those are things I expect I'm either going to break off or or otherwise you know mess up. So let's flip over to the next page and. Yeah, that's really as far as I've gotten. Um, however, there's a lot more work involved in here than, than appears just in the steps. So if you look at here, you've got these two front pieces there. Now this is something that I caught, and this is a gotcha. The numbers are wrong. Um, so now this is kind of neat. They, they, they point out this little cutout so you get this thing oriented correctly. Um, but this number for this piece is wrong. The, the holes for that and the pegs on this, if you actually match that number to that, this piece is going to be the wrong one. Um, so far, that's the only one I've caught that's like that. This one's correct. Um, and where they are really is this one right here. Okay, it's this. And, oops, sorry. It's this piece right here. Now you see how those are oriented off of the side and one hole's bigger than the other so the one peg that's bigger than the other and this is that that helps right so that that helps you figure that out but it was wrong um now that being the first one it worried me a bit um however the rest worked out to be appropriate um but then you put these pieces make sure of your orientation of this um and then so you've got both of these sides so it's this panel piece right here that you're building and this is this holds your main roller wheel. This is a standoff for the skirts. And you have this piece to do as well. You know, essentially mirror images of each other. That's really not that challenging once you realize you get the right pieces. Then, you know, you pop over, put that in, and then drop in your front plate. Front plate has a bit of a fitment thing. As you can see, there's that little gap. That's going to that's gonna need to be filled. Um, but, you know, it's actually fitting fairly well. It's going together fairly well. Um, then you have this front piece. I actually chose to go ahead and put these little door handles on. It, it ended up not being a big deal. Um, and then putting together the uh, um, fan for the back deck and so forth and, and the sprocket wheel. So then we get over here to assembling these. And this is, again, a little bit tricksy, but it's not killer. It's just something you want to pay attention to. So... Those two pieces right there, right? They're independent, so you kind of have to watch the alignment. You just sort of stick them in, and they sort of align with each other. And it's this little V piece right here, and that'll help make those work or, or find the proper orientation. Uh, this piece comes later, but as you can see, the, this piece here just sort of drops in, and then this will hold it. And theoretically, that'll help make your right angle when you do this. Just when you do this, be aware of, of that, that that's what you're doing. This step also calls out putting on the sprocket wheel. So you put on the that housing cover and then you put the sprocket wheel on it. And I chose not to. And I chose to hold the sprocket wheel off on purpose. And I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, then these pieces here, again, more assembling of these holder type things. Here's another one where orientation matters. This one here. I think I've got that guy. I don't think I put that guy on yet. Yeah, here he is. 
So as you can see, it fits and it has a bit of an angle, but you're going to have an orientation to it. There's going to be a specific angle and that's going to fit along one of these lay-ins so that it's going to fit over top of this so that it being at the correct angle there is important. So just be aware when you're putting this together, that piece together, that that matters and, and reference back to where it's going to go on, which is back here. Okay. So as you're doing this, reference this. Then you come in, you drop in this piece here by your sprocket wheel, which is that other plate that's there, right? So you, you put where, 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 here, you put the stuff together, they go together fairly well. And then you drop that plate here by where the sprocket wheel is going to go. Um, and then, so this thing is telling you to put the, the other piece of the sprocket wheel on. So what I did is I had the sprocket wheel off by itself. Um, and this is for painting purposes. Um, and then you have all the wheels, you know, so you have multiple times two of those, you know, 12 of these, and that's all these guys. And then, so I'm at this step and this is where I've stopped and I've gotten stuck. Well, I'm not stuck. I need to de need to decision here. All right, so what I have here, I have my little box of completed pieces. Got my turrets, which are essentially ready except for putting in the machine guns. So what I'm probably going to do is assemble the, the whole thing, minus the machine guns, s snap fit those in, you know, you know, just sort of compression fit those in, and then paint. When I paint the whole thing, I'll do that. And then put the machine guns in last and replace the turrets but then i have all these wheels i have all these wheels i have the sprocket wheel i have the, the idler wheel and all all the return rollers that are part of this next assembly and this is where i need to figure out how i'm going to do this whole painting thing so looking at this you have this piece holds all of those rollers on holds the idler wheel this wheel goes in there and then holds your sprocket wheel and then, on top of that, next step, next step, next step, where's my thing here? You know, later on top of that goes your tracks and then your skirts. Right? So you're, you're, you're going to be putting your skirts on over top of that. Um, so I'm at the decision point of painting. The wheels all have rubber. So all of these have to be painted with the metal color and then edged with the, um, the black for the rubber. You can see how that is. So I can paint them all separately and then glue them on. But then to do that, then when I go to paint the whole model, I've got to somehow cover them. Um, and that's where I'm stuck. So if I go with the base green, I can kind of do that assemble it parts. If I go with the, um, concept of painting it with the winter camo, then I have to kind of worry about how that winter camo is laid over top of it. If I try the camo, the, the summer camo idea, then, then I need to rethink all this. I, I, I believe, I believe, and, and probably come, come next video, that's, you know, we'll have made the decision and moved on. Um, but I think what we're going to end up doing, and, and you know, the other part of the problem is is painting the background in here the same color as everything else. So um, I am stuck on the possibility of putting together, putting these road wheels on, and and you know, again, getting to this sprocket wheel, and then painting the details on it. And I think that's what I may end up just having to do is just assemble this like it is. Um, do my base painting, you know, keep the tracks off, keep the skirts off, um, do the base painting and detail paint the, the tracks as much as you can, then put all of that together, then start the, the finishing with it. I think that's how this is going to have to be done. Um, I think I'm buying more work than I need to thinking about how to paint all these, um, you know, paint the road wheels, paint what I see. Um, and I, a lot of it in road wheels, I'm sorry, return rollers. Painting the return rollers as I see them. But I also know there's going to be the main wheels, too, that are on the bogeys. And I have the same question 
getting to this guy, and these wheels are going to be visible. Um, so, the, and so you can hear me sort of trying to figure this out, and that's kind of where I'm stuck. And I think really the only answer is going to end up being to um, assemble up to this step. Go ahead and put the return rollers on. Assemble up to this step. And then paint the bogies, the road wheels, as separate units. So paint, keep all these pieces off. So paint this unit as is. Keep this pieces off. Paint them separate. Paint the tracks separate. Um, paint the side skirts separate. Um, and then go back. Because the side skirts go on last. Right? You can see these guys here. Um, then go back. And if I'm going to camo it, mask and paint. I think that's pretty much how it's going to have to be done. But we will get to that next video. Um, this is, I just, it, it's been a while since I've given an update to it. Um, and I just, I wanted to go ahead and put this out here for the, like, six people who are actually seeing this or those who are following along. Following along at home. Um, the fit for this has been good. I, I have had minor, 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 minor issues for pretty much all of it. Um, oh, here's another, here's another little weirdism here. So I found this out when I was doing this. These pieces here, they go in and they go, they cover that spot, right? Way back here, you put this little bugger goes into that slot there. Then this covers it. Um, with that piece there, that's totally invisible. That, that sits right in that little gap there. And that piece that's sitting in there, it's in there. You, you, you're not going to see it. So that getting that thing, I spent like five, six minutes just getting that orientation on that little tiny piece in correctly. <laughs> Let me sit here and cover it up later. Um, so, yeah, that piece there, if, if you skip it, then, you know, no harm, no foul. Uh, the rest of this, like I said, the pieces are going together well. The fit has been fantastic. Um, little minor pieces here and there, a little minor, especially in the places where you would expect when the, the round pieces have to match up just so. Um, the, but so far, or, or building up the little geometric shapes. But for the most part, everything has been and is going together very well. Uh, so minor, minor, minor issues. But other than that, um, so far, I'm very content with it. So with that, I will move on to uh, my next steps. Um, and then I will be back in the next video with the state of things and where we are and what needs to be done. Uh, in the meantime, you know, I hope you're enjoying the trip as I take it. And I will talk to you guys next time. Until then, happy modeling.